Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the MLO creation series. We are now on to the next step of building our restaurant. We are going to jump right into the next step. But just a quick reminder, with this series, I am breaking the process down step by step for each video tutorial. Um, this is the fourth series for mlo creation here on the channel and though i do try to explain everything in the most simplest form i do see comments here on the channel and in the discord where some still don't understand or are having trouble the most important thing i want you to take from this series is that you must practice do not expect to get it right away not only should you be practicing but you should also take the initiative to study and try things to find your way if you have questions please join the discord read the community rules and then ask as many questions as you need to in the designated channels we are here to help okay okay so let's get started all right so the last thing um last time we were here we basically just imported the building into a uh, blender. Um, today, what we're going to do is open the door entrance so that we can walk through. And, and that is all. <laughs> we're going to open the door entrance and we're going to put this in our, in our server. And we're going to test it in our, in our city. Yes, I meant it when I said I'm taking it really slow. I don't need you to miss a thing. So with that being said, what you need to do, let me turn on, I always forget to do this, my screencast key. So you can see down here in the left corner, the buttons that I am pressing. Um, we're going to select our building right here in the viewport. And we are going to press tab to go into edit mode. This right here is edit mode. You can also just select edit mode from this top left corner this drop down right here but the shortcut key is to just press tab and it'll toggle in and out back and forth from edit mode to object mode so we're in edit mode and what we're gonna do is just go into um we're just gonna select turn come up here and turn on face select I'm gonna change the select mode to select the faces so that we can select each all of these faces basically um, and we're going to, I'm just going to move, remove the door. I'm not going to get rid of the windows. If you want to, if you want to make this something, you know, a, a restaurant that you put in a server or put up for others to use, you can do this if you wish. I am not, I'm just going to remove everything for the door. And by doing that, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to box select. I'm just going to left click, drag across and select the door select all the faces that make up the door and then i'm going to press x and by pressing x it's going to bring up the delete menu you can also um right click and go down to delete faces i'm going to press eight i'm going to press eight i'm going to press x go down to where it says delete delete faces and click and now the door is open okay and that's it the door is open if you want to you know like i said before get open the windows and turn this into glass you can do that there's nothing wrong you can do that but we're not going to do that in today's video um we're just going to open the door so that we can walk through you're going to save this and then once you have opened your door any of the doors that you want you know you can do these back here do these back here for an office or a storage whatever you could possibly want this these back doors to be you can do that if you want um after you have saved this you're going to right click over here in the outliner this is what we call the outliner so whenever i say something about the outliner this is the area this top box section here where it has the name of your building this is the outliner you're going to right click on it and then go to select hierarchy 
this is going to select everything that's connected to this building and then we're going to press v we're going to basically export this back out of blender so you're going to hold down v and then go over to export code walker xml and then um, you want to create a folder i'm going to call it uh exports just to keep everything organized and then you're just going to click export code walker xml and it should tell you down here how like that it exported successfully once you've done that what you need is to open up your code walker rpf explorer All right let me just move this over so you can see what i see you're going to open up your rpf explorer i have something that i call the converter rpf um you may or may not have this if you don't have this just uh this is what you might see i'm gonna close it and then open it back so you can see okay so this is what yours will look like but it won't say convert to rpf in order to create this all you need to do is right click well before you do it turn on edit mode and then say yes then right click new and then rpf archive and you can name it you can just do folder too it really doesn't matter um i do have a mods folder but i don't like to put stuff in my mods folder um because it shows up in code walker when i enable all the mods and stuff <laughs> i don't like that so i i just created rpf um archive so that it won't do that um once you and i just named it converter rpf because we're going to use it to convert the files back to game ready files the one that we exported from blender so i'm in this folder that i have i'm going to create a folder and call it on <laughs> youtube um for now and then um the file that i exported okay so i had to find where it was um basically you're going to open up the folder where you had it saved and we are going to just drag that export the what we exported from blender we're going to drag it into the rpf explorer the folder or archive that we created if you click double click on it your door should be open your door should be open okay and that's what we want then what we need to do is basically create a stream folder and i'm going to create it inside of this not here but with like inside of this folder here inside of the bishops folder i'm going to create an another folder and call it bishops that's the name of the restaurant you want this folder the name of this folder to be whatever you are going to name your mlo and then within that you are going to create a folder and call it stream and we're going to drag in our the exterior of our building into the stream folder and then we need to have an fx manifest that we uh put in our uh what do you <laughs> outside of the stream folder okay so i put one in here if you're curious as to what's inside of this this is what you have inside of your um fx manifest.lua this is what you will always put here fx underscore version cerulean games gta5 this is a map it should be exactly like this um i will have one in the resources channel in a discord but you again you can just write this in a text document make sure it's, it's named fx manifest.lua and this is what you want to write in it and then you're going to put it outside of your stream folder but within your mlo folder that makes sense then i'm going to drop this i'm going to copy this right here and then i'm going to put it in my uh server this is it yeah i'm gonna put it in my server resources i'm going to restart my server and we're going to go to this location and check it out i will meet you in the server okay so we are in the server as you can see the door is open if you run around and if you open you know other doors then 
maybe you want to have this open um yeah the door here it should be open if it's not then you need to double check your <laughs> server files and make sure you put it in the correct place i don't really teach how to you know I, that, as far as what i showed you today that's as far as i go when it comes to like teaching how to install files to your server there are so many videos on youtube uh, that show you how to install like custom mlos to your server um it's it's fairly simple this is our mlo um, obviously you can't walk in because there's a collision there that'll be something that we do a little later we'll remove later when we are ready to walk inside with an actual floor and building um we'll create that coming up in a future video um but this is going to wrap it up for today's video if you enjoyed the content if, if you found it helpful if you made it this far in the tutorial and and were successful please leave a like on the video so that we can reach more people and so that more people can get the help that they need um please subscribe if you're new or if you're not new and you've just been here to watch the videos subscribe so that you don't miss the upcoming videos again i am taking this series very slow um i wanted to upload daily <laughs> so i made that it doesn't seem to be a promise that i can keep so um but i'll try to upload as uh, frequent as i can um, but the series is ongoing. There will be even more in the future. If the, if you find this is to be simple, too simple for you, or if you already know this, but you want to learn something new, uh, something more advanced, something more, you know, move along a little quicker. I do have a course, a full course that teaches how to make MLOs um, in extreme detail. We go into props, furniture uh upstairs and downstairs portals um just how to get everything working efficiently um you can join the online campus for only 25 dollars a month you'll get access to the ultimate mlo course and the bridges islands and terrains course where we work on building neighborhoods islands um and just other mapping around the world that isn't mlo related all right, if that is something that interests you, check the description box for the link to the membership page. Please join the Discord if you have questions or just want to be a part of a community or if you want to offer help, assistance to the community, to the members who, who do ask questions. All right, I love you. I will see you in the next video.